those of us who are watching this online and are having your mugs of tea at home, you can continue the conversation with our online program, uh, the Daily Planet News Show. It's being broadcast right here in the conference with my colleague Julian Rush. And I leave you with a short film which has been made by some young people, young budding scientists in Canada, US, and Denmark, talking about the projects they're working on in the run-up to Rio Plus 20. See you in exactly half an hour. We want to get cracking at 11 a.m. on the dot. Teens today use a wide variety of technologies to simplify their life to a degree more manageable. The use of laptops and computers is now a norm when writing academic papers and conducting enlightening research. And often as younger people, we can't drive ourselves, so our parents end up driving us places. But this means that they have to do a double trip every time they go. Today it is almost a requirement for Danish teenagers to have a cell phone, to have a laptop, there's a lot of pressure on teenagers to have electronic devices, which of course uses a lot of energy. Today, electronic devices are no longer accessories, they are necessities. In my vision of the future, it involves a lot of green energy, people using that green energy instead of coal and uh, gas and things. As a teen, it is up to us to be environmentally responsible. In the future, we hope to use alternative energies such as biofuel, solar, and wind power. One man cannot change this situation alone. Therefore, we must stand together. This is how we have to save our world.